Hello and welcome back to another episode of our brand new show, Just Four Games. The show where we talk about four different games uh, from our guest's uh, life. Uh, one he loves, one he hates, and for the last two are quick fire. So they're basically underrated gem that they've spent so much time on those games, but not everyone appreciates it. And then finally game that deserves a remake so again we are we're the foxy bros and our guest today is is jamie and it's very nice to have you on this what's up jamie <laughs> glad to be here hello how are you so obviously like as as the name suggests it's about video games like we we try to get people on that like really have an appreciation for video games and just enjoy them as much as we do we really don't like video games <laughs> <laughs> they're everywhere yeah everywhere i like. <laughs> even wearing video game clothes like clothes brand like <laughs> well, anyway like i suppose we better, better start off because like it's what what's your favorite game of, of all time it doesn't matter what console what oh, generation fuck. what is your favorite game of all time a game that you keep coming back to, it just always stays. Like, we head. have our, our own ones and we talk about them, like, where it's a game you'll go back and play time and time again. Mm. Even if it's a, a couple of year gap and you go, nah, I'm going to go pick up a shot, I'm going to play that game again. Um, see, this is hard because I've, I've got a couple of different ones and there's one that I'm thinking for the remake question. Um, <laughs> No, fuck it. I'm going to go with it's tragically uncool, but I've sunk pretty sure somewhere in the region of 3,000 hours into it. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Skyrim. Ah, oh, yes! This is the same as mine! Yes! <laughs> like, yeah. You cannot yeah. beat Elder Scrolls. I love this, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, just that. It's It's... Like, I've done it all in the game, really. <laughs> like, what I is think it? There's, well, you haven't uh, done what that old guy done where he went there and killed every single uh, NPC. <laughs> well, no. You see, that's that's kind of the beauty of it is that I've done so many playthroughs of that game and I've played it to, like, completion. And yet every time, like, every couple of years, there is that kind of, I kind of want to go back and play Skyrim. And when I do, there's always something new. There's always something oh, yeah. that I hadn't found beforehand. Because always some secret or some side quest. You're like, what's this? I never done this quest before. Because it's yeah. so fast. I mean, like, there's a reason why it's held up so long after what? How many years? Like, it was 12 years. 11. 11, 12 years, something like that. 11, 12, yeah. 12 years. Hold on, I'm just looking. 2011. 2011. It came so. out November 11th, 2011. 11, 11, 11. Like, damn, like, 11 years. Like, there's a reason why it's held up that long. Like, and especially with the recent, was it the upgrade? The... the upgraded version, yeah, where they included like fishing and stuff into it, which was kind of pointless. Shouldn't that have been in it from the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> like, you would expect that because, like, even when you look at like Elder Scrolls Online or like Oblivion, they, like, have, they have them, yeah. So it's like, why doesn't Skyrim have it? <laughs> I, I don't know whether it was just a thing where they were like, let's leave that out of it. There's just enough in the game. And then, like, later on, they're like, We've, re- we've released it for the, the Xbox 360. We've released it for the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and they just keep going, and it's like, we need to add something to it. We're just going to keep re-releasing this game. Fucking, what, the Switch has it? Switch has yeah, it, everything. PlayStation 5. Like, it's just, and PC, obviously. PC. I've owned every single, like, I was only telling Niall there, I've got, like, bought every version of Skyrim from the, like, uh, first, like, the very first edition of it. To the collector's okay. editions, the special editions on everything from like my Xbox is going up to my PC. I'm that like, is genuinely impressive. Like uh, <laughs> I was there when he bought the big collector's edition oh, yeah, when, with, bought, when yeah. it first was released. The one with, oh, the, with the Alduin with, statue. I have it's on I've got that. It's <laughs> on top of my PC. Like <laughs> that's in my bookshelf inside. I literally yeah. I, I caught I caught I went in sick coming from school that day and I just made, went over the game with him and I was like, we're going to your house, boy. We're playing. I'm playing this. <laughs> I remember I was actually working in a beats place at the time. The guy I was working with was like he loved Oblivion, and I'd never actually played it. I'd only played Far Cry or 
yeah, uh, Fallout at the time. That's um, him. Oh, He's I've, that I've, guy. <laughs> I've gone back. I've played all the way back to Morrowind now. Far but off. um. Oh, yeah. It was literally just a case of we went for a drink after work and he was going to like this midnight launch for this game. So I was like, yeah, cool, let's do it. And like watched him play it that night. And it's like, yeah, okay. Like the yeah. next day when picked it up, it was just, yeah. It's yeah. a classic. It's such a good game. Because uh, as he said, it's like only like in, in the last like two years that I actually decided to pick up Oblivion um, and play it. Now for years, I was against it. I just, I found it very boring. But obviously, lockdown is a hell of a fucking thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, that's a good time to start a game like Oblivion or Skyrim. Yep. I needed a game to play, so I was like, right, I give Oblivion a shot, and I found myself getting sucked into it so much that I was like, I cleared this by myself. Like it, it was I didn't didn't take any shortcuts. I actually went like went through from start to finish. No, the shortcuts come the second or third time you play the game. Yeah, <laughs> you're like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but even then, like after that, like I I played Skyrim. Now I didn't clear it, but I played it and I enjoyed it. But I I found myself getting dug into Elder Scrolls Online now, and I'm like, it, it, have you played Elder Scrolls Online, Jamie? No, no, I never went any further than Skyrim. Oh, I, pl- I play. Mm. I've I've got this weird dislike of MMOs. Surprisingly enough, I wasn't a huge. I didn't think I'd be a huge fan of um, Elder Scrolls Online because the first time I played it wasn't what they promised. But it's be- like playing through it, like with Niall, like I'm I'm playing through on my PC and he's playing through on his. But we're like grouping up together. Actually playing okay. through it, it's very like Oblivion and Skyrim in that way, like where you can go around your mine and getting ore, you're getting wood, stuff like that. Like you have your classes that you can break from. But mm. like the original thing was, you had to be in one of the alliances. Yes. Now you don't. You can just okay. go around and deal with the missions, the side missions, and stuff like that, or join the alliance, like go into the alliances if you want. Fair. Like, you am, I, to, like, am I right in saying they added Valenwood? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you so that's desperately only, wanted that to be that Elder Scrolls Six. Like mm. it's literally you have Valenwood, Sunset, or uh, Somerset. Uh, Sunset Isles. You have Morrowind is in it, like all the, the all, all the places are in it. Sorry. There's only three places, no, four places in it that you cannot visit without going into the alliances, which is Cyrodiil, because that's where everyone's trying to fight for. Fair, uh, fair. But Imperials. I'm pretty sure it's a place in High Rock or Hammerfell, one of them. Okay. And the main part of Skyrim. And like there's it's broken into three parts, and then I think it's a bit of Black Marsh or something like that. You can't go into Okay. And like once you join the lines, you can go into them and visit them. Jesus. You, like in it, you have Eastern Skyrim and Western Skyrim to go visit. So you can visit Solitude, uh, Winterhold, and Winterhold look they look so much different than Skyrim. What era is it? That's the thing. Like all frick is not in it. Fair. And I'm like, what the f- what? Hang on. There's a Jarl in Winterhold, and but when you go in there, the place is built up. Okay, so it's pre-collapse. It looks, yeah, it looks, it's so, it's like, it's built up. It looks real nice. There's no, like, half-destroyed walls or bits yeah. or anything. It just like looks that. immaculate. And, like, even the, like, the houses and stuff that you can get, you can furnish. Like, we were only talking about it there the other day. Yeah. And I was showing them some of the houses. They're fucking huge. <laughs> like, they're <laughs> massive. I got to, I got to the river one, a uh, riverside one. It's, like, on a bridge. And the river runs under it. It's but it's two houses like going up and join in the middle. Like it's, enough. it's essentially your own apartment block, basically. Literally. Deadly. It's Dude, it's very that's... he's enjoying it more like more than I thought he would. Mm. And I'm very shocked at how well he took to it. Yeah. Oh, he's not a big fan. He hates it. MMO was like, like he came on to play World of Warcraft I mean, enjoyed that as well. And I was like, what the fuck? What's <laughs> happening here? I, I enjoyed it, but like I, I find myself with Elder Scrolls Online, I'm just like I think it's because it's a bit more realistic than yeah. World of Warcraft. Yeah. But like World of yeah. Warcraft graphics and stuff are very rudimentary. Yeah. But I like it. I enjoy it. Like whereas Warcraft is just like it, it feels very like you can be overwhelmed at times. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, and whereas like, like other which, scrolls, we like to start them. Like I'd say, you've have, you've probably done Dark Road. You've done all them. Oh, I've tried them all. I I generally end up the sneak archer like everyone else, but you know, hiding in a bush <laughs> <laughs> with Lydia sworn to carry my burdens. <laughs> Alas. Again, like, but again, like it just it really. Uh, I I know I'm saying it again, but it's a real testament to how in depth those games are like yeah. that even years later you you go into it like you said and you'd find things that you never seen before it's like it just it's a real like, testament yeah to it's it. mad how a game like that has literally stood what 11 years and still been one of the best selling games on every console that's come out on mm. yep and it's still getting pushed onto like newer generation consoles and it's like that just proves how like Bevesta could make how well they made games like Oblivion, Morrowind, Skyrim that they keep releasing these games and they still stand the test of time when they're given the even, time. Even like Morrowind's graphics, even though they were good back in the day, to now they're like, eh. yeah. yeah. But that game, its quests and all that is still so good that you want to go back and play. It's the same yeah. with Skyrim though. You yeah. just enjoyed it, and the characters in it are brilliant. Yeah, but like, that that's something that they've done really well with the Elder Scrolls in general is the. Like from the Daedric princes to like the emperors and just the carried on mythos throughout all of these full blown worlds, mm-hmm. and the fact that they set them like a thousand years apart so that they can be completely different while being familiar. It's great. It's great. Like, now, obviously, like this is this is something that like is your basically your all time favorite. But like now we go to the other side of that coin, which is the game that you. Hate, and I'm not talking about hate like, or load one or the other. Like, you want just you despise. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's tougher because generally, if I don't like a game, I'm not going to fucking play it or mm. invest the time. Oh, I have a few of them. Um, I suppose one game that I disliked in recent years, and it got an awful lot of praise, and I think it's just down to the style of game that I like to play and the fact that it didn't mesh with me is Dark Souls 2 or the Dark Souls series in general. I've not played it. Neither have I. I have no interest in it. Yeah, basically. Um, Hack and slash games in general could probably be a stand-in here for those as well. Um, It's one of those games where it's the exact opposite of Skyrim, whereas with Skyrim it's nice to be in the world. Like yeah. if you're just like in the player home, even the music that's playing is so serene and like just calm and lovely. Like the fact and, that Skyrim, you have that ambience of like, you hear the river, you could stand in a forest and hear rivers and birds yeah. and all. It's real peaceful. Where Absolutely. most of the games, you don't get that. Mm. But like, that's kind of where I'm going Dark with this To me is like, eh, it just doesn't, like even look at, I've seen people play I've seen like Jack Sepp's coin all they love it and I'm like, no, I just it's just one of them that I'm not no. It's like nah. Wait. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, you can nearly substitute for my pick any game that is designed to kill you two seconds in so that you learn from it and dodge it and then die four seconds in. And then it kills you and then you last six seconds and mm-hmm. so on and so forth forever. It's a lot of trial and error. Uh, yeah. It, like it's frustrating. Like the difficulty curve is notoriously like steep in these games, like on purpose. Uh, it's like at that rate, you'd be better off just going to the likes of Bayonetta or like Devil May Cry, like if you want your yeah. hack and slash. Like well, Devil May Cry, yeah, Bayonetta, no. Well, like it's, that a, game. it's essentially Devil May Cry, mm-hmm. just with a female protagonist. Like the only kind of real hack and slash game back in the day that I loved was Medieval. Yeah, I, oh, love, like, I, I just loved it. Fantastic game! Like that was such a good hack and slash game, just to take, like, just have fun on. And then going up, it, it the likes of the MMOs like Dragon Age took over, and I love Dragon Age. It was so good, but just because of the story, I find stories are better in like the Dragon Age, Elder Scrolls, stuff like that. Not Final Fantasy. The later Final Fantasy are crap. Like Ten was amazing. I loved Ten. I didn't like Ten. I probably should show 10 as my controversial dislike. I love 7, 8, and 9. Oh, yeah, 7, 8, and 9, yes. But, uh, but 10, I love for the, like, the playing the, like, the, the ball game and Blitz all. Blitzball. Blitzball and all. It was just so, it was just fun. 
it was just a fun game, and the graphics That's were fair. really good when your woman, when your woman was uh, whatever her name was summoning all. She's been playing that game so long, can't remember any of their names. You and her Lulu, as yeah. I recall it. Something like that. They, obviously, like it, it's not, it's not a game that you can really like delve into, especially like if we haven't, we ha- we haven't played it, but like we're, we're well aware that so many people do like it, and we're not gonna like say that like oh we're we're right you're wrong like yeah. ev- everyone has their own opinions on games and this is just like there, yeah like you said there is a lot of people that like the game mm-hmm. but there's people out there that don't like it yeah as proof. There's three of us here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's firmly in my not for me pile. Um, <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm just going to push that over there. <laughs> <laughs> but like, obviously, like it, it's it's not something really like to delve too much into. But like, okay. Like, what, what exactly do you find like bad about it? It's just frustrating. I don't have the patience for that. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's one of them. Just, answer. There you go. My, my, my controllers can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but no. And that's why we have so many controllers. Like, you know, like the, the, the legs of the analogs are worn down. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, uh, well, I, I suppose, like, all right, we'll, we'll we'll move on. But like, they for this this one though, like, I imagine you probably have an idea, but it, it's. A game that you have spent a a lot of time playing, and you isn't necessarily appreciated Sorry, by people. <laughs> isn't necessarily appreciated by other people, but you find yourself keep coming back to it, and you consider it an underrated gem. This one's a little tougher, but I'm gonna go with the game that I'm currently playing because it's from 2015. And I keep finding myself coming back to it because it's fun. It's okay. by no means a great game. It's by very few means a good game, but it's fun. <laughs> and it's Just Cause 3. Ooh. The Just Cause? I'll give you that one. They're, they're a good game. They're just like, fun. <laughs> they're a decent game. I'm not a huge fan of them, but like they are like they're games that you will go back to. Yeah. They're definitely games you'd go back and you know have a go on, and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Like, and like it's I, absolutely pick up and play because like the story is by no means not anything to write home about but it's not meant to be yeah the whole thing is set up like an 80s action film so really it is just jump in and blow shit up which bonkers <laughs> Rambo. Yeah. Like, yeah pretty much <laughs> uh, like now i remember playing the first one and i found myself having a lot of fun with it, 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 like, it to me it kind of almost remind me of um I don't know if you remember the game Mercenaries. They used yes. to be on the Xbox. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, Mercenaries was a lot of fun because like they they basically took a lighthearted approach to it where you could have yeah. like basically a sandbox version of a like, almost like a Call of Duty, basically. Yeah. Like, I mean, like we, let's not mention COD and Rand yeah. in these more <laughs> No, but I mean like, I already <laughs> ran it on at the first like episode. And I, I don't want to get like Write in the comments if you like, if you want. I don't care. I it's still a terrible game now. Nah, but like, like when it I, went downhill. When I played Just Cause, like the first one, I, I did. I enjoyed it a lot. Just it's just a shame that I didn't actually continue and play with the other games that came out. To me, I, I just it just came across as like, okay, the concept is just seems like a once off. Like you shouldn't have to have a sequel, but they find a way to do it and. Again, they, it just gets more ridiculous. Almost like oh, oh uh, no, 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 I uh, know that's a game I don't like. Uh, I enjoy Fire Cries. Oh no, the yeah, yeah, um, yeah no, I didn't. But what I was gonna say is, is the just causes mm. go further on. They get they just delve further and further into the ridiculous. But see, so they're like, fun going to games that you that you're like. Yeah, they just absolutely take the mick out of it. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. And you're like, just like, oh, I'm going to blow this tank up with a pistol or something like something. But, but like, you've, you've got this grappling hook. Yeah. And if you're falling towards the ground, you can grapple hook onto the ground and reel yourself in faster to avoid fall damage. Because forget physics. Um, the last thing yeah, I unlocked was a rocket power wingsuit. So I'm basically Iron Man. <laughs> uh, wonderful 
<laughs> so it's kind of got a mix here of like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where they had the mech suits and they were like, oh yeah, we can jump mad far but, and all. And it's but like, done cartoonishly yeah. and marvelously. See, when it's done cartoonishly, it's funny and it's fun. Yeah. Where it's like, you're trying to be realistic and it's like, mate, we don't even have them nowadays. Like oh. all these bad mech suits and all. Like you are like strapped up with metal coming down your arms. Like <laughs> Just for underrated gem. I'm actually going to be really cheeky and throw in another, if that's okay. Over. Over. The Saints Row series. Yes. In yes. particular, Saints Row yes. 4. Yes. Because, my God. What a game. What, just what games. T- talk about games that just got less serious as they went, and it was to their benefit. Like Number two. I number two. Loved. Oh. oh, what a game. Yeah, I completely. like. The, the, to be fair, it was always called a GTA clone. Yeah. But yeah. Saints Row 2 had more imagination in how it did its missions than uh, any GTA has ever done. It was so good. The fact that in, like, there's one, like, mission where uh, Pierce in the car with you and he puts on a song and he starts singing is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Like, they start singing, what's the song? There's Marky, Just a Friend. Do, 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 do. Uh, what's up? Or that was in... Oh, it was in one of them. It was good. Anyway. But like the fact that they oh, had opposites that, attract. They did opposites attract. Yeah, in one of yeah. them As well, like just... and with what was fun is that like as a little Easter egg, they kept that going with yep. the later installments as well. There would always be one song in particular uh-huh. that the characters would sing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Take on. Like, <laughs> like, well, I mean, br- the sec- the second one had a mission. Where you traveled to a fucking nuclear power plant on yeah. an island, stole nuclear waste, mixed it in with tattoo ink, so that one of the rival gang leaders would get a tattoo on his. Oh, face. the big dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big like Mauro. Like, <laughs> what a mission! That was such a pain because, like, the radiation would like mess you up and knock like, away. Like, what a game! Uh, and then by the fourth one, they decided you were just in an alien simulation anyway. So they gave you superpowers. Yeah, which... I, I don't like the fall. I it, I get it's supposed to be like a fun game, but it's too crackdown for me. It, it's very like crackdown. I like, fucking hate crackdown. <laughs> the first one was a you know it was a good piss take game, like to have a bit of fun with. Mm. But then it was like this game was trash. Like one, <laughs> like trash. One was pure clone. Second one was very imaginative. Third yeah. one got more ridiculous. It got also got very cartoony. Yeah. Yes, like uh, like you had Hulk Hogan and RVD doing commentary on the like the yep. the, the blaster ball, wherever it was. Like, oh, um, the and Doctor Genki, Doctor well. Genki, yeah, like on his games. Like, you know, like Hogan was the main bad, well, one of the main bad guys as well. He was the yeah. leader of one of the gangs. Yeah, ironically enough, a luchador. Yeah. Oh, oh. not um, I can't remember the gang. The luchadors. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer, yeah isn't it? I, I, it's been that long since I played Tendro. That's a game I'd love to see them remake. The number two. Fair, very fair. Because they've done, like they've done number three, where they've given it a bit more update graphics, and I'm like, yeah, it still holds up. But like four to me in that series was just, I'm just like, you know, like take me away. <laughs> what I liked about four was that it took itself so. It was basically taking the piss out of itself so much that it did things like. The missions where you got both Shondies, so it like took the piss out yeah. of itself for replacing the actress and changing the character. Yeah. For um, they had Roddy Piper. I mean, how can you complain about that? Yeah. <laughs> like fully reenacting his scene from like like they live. Like, mm-hmm. god damn! Like, like how do you go from like you go from these games that have all these great people come in and do voices and stuff like that, and people are still like, oh, GTA is better, and it's like. But Saints Row just gives you something a little bit more and it's a little bit more special. Mm-hmm. Like GTA, there's some missions like in San Andreas, you had that stupid uh, fly the little toy plane and helicopter oh, that you wanted to snap yeah. the controller or the, <laughs> or the TV. Where Saints Row's missions, yeah, they can be a little bit frustrating, but they're fun. Mm. Like they are very fun. <laughs> like you get a helicopter, go up to a penthouse and just start shooting everyone. <laughs> Or the violator, remember that? <laughs> the violator, the violator, and <laughs> the dubstep gun. I hate dubstep gun. Oh, I saw your thing, but that's what it was. It was ridiculous, but and then like the little uh, insurance fraud and all that. Like, I love get, get insurance it. fraud. It's the best mini game really? in any game ever. Oh, it was just comical. I was like, this oh. is what makes a game fun to play. Like with the ragdoll physics, just like yeah. yeah. 
no, that's this, that's a very skate thing where it's just like yeah, I'm just gonna fall off. <laughs> like, I absolutely adored like insurance fraud. Like it was just oh, so fun. Yeah. To the there point was nothing where, more gratifying though than like you know racking up a combo and then just been sent sailing yeah. and like. <laughs> <laughs> but like even to the point where like I kept going back and playing like the original missions I was like yeah this is fun like that's how much I enjoyed it I but, love the fact that like in number two like you get the you have to go and get like a new hideout and stuff and you picked up like a place that's literally run down to death and then you like turn it up after like you're doing your missions it gets better each time yeah. and you're like wow and then like, even the customizing your apartment and stuff was really good yeah. It was a nice little feature. Yeah. Like even that, that new, like, like more advanced games later on brought that concept in. Like, like the Skyrim brought in, like, of any, like, um, most, um, most MMOs brought in and all. Because it was a good concept and it worked. People found themselves sinking so many, so much time into that. Like, just making sure that their base looked like. And I think it came from Saints Row. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Absolutely. So I still remember the mission where you're like, yeah, what's the name of the glasses? Kenzie. Kenzie. Where you go to the whole thing and there's just a big hole right in your mind, just like <laughs> <laughs> you're just walking away. Like oh or like for, for number four now, it is so random, but it's like obviously you're you're basically reenacting like the, the, the plot from like the Matrix. So oh yeah. So they're on a ship. Yeah. And it's just like Okay, when you're outside of the, the actual simulation, you walk around and interact with the crew, and it's like you can say like, "How's things?" Or you could just like, "Hey, what the fuck?" <laughs> it's, like, it's like literally every character. Though. Yeah, it it was actually quite progressive in that regard. Yeah. <laughs> every single character. <laughs> Although out of all the games, the best character out of was Pierce, in my opinion. He's just so funny. Ah, Johnny Gat. Gat. Yeah, Gat. Johnny uh, Gat is a legend. Yeah, them two are just made that game so fucking good. Because he did not give a fuck. No, he really didn't. But Pierce, like, when you're in cars with him and he's just doing his dialogues and, like, he's singing and all, you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> but Gat, the one line that always comes back to me is the whole, you've committed 300 murders. I figure with the statute of limitations, that must be down to 250. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> What, what year was leading Saints Row 2 anyway? I can't even remember what year that was. Oh, 2006. It'd be thereabouts, I think. Six. Uh, 2008. Hmm. 2008. Yeah, Saints Row 1 was 2006. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. And 3 came in. There was a gap between 2 and 3. 2011. Yeah. It's mad, though. I hope the reboot isn't awful. Because yeah. there is a reboot coming, and it's probably going to be. Yeah. If they continue with that Saints Row Four, it'll probably it will be. No, it like that. It's a solid reboot because Saints Row Four ends with them going back in time and changing. Oh everything. yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But especially with Volition, like they, they'll fucking they'll keep that in, until it's like not making any money. So. Yeah. But they 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 skipped out on it. There was meant to be a Saints Row Five. And somewhere along the way, they decided not to do it, and it became Agents of Mayhem. Agents yeah. of Mayhem, yeah. Which launched to no fanfare, was no, terrible, no. and fell apart. Mm. So, although they probably like say the reason they probably didn't like bring out Central Five was probably because of GTA Five yeah. and how well it yeah. did. Like, That's... it is a good game. I'll give it that. GTA Five is very good, and the online is like really funny, and like you can have so much fun, like. Like there's role playing servers and all for GTA Five now, and it's god crap. Like, like you oh, have people there. coming up, like just in like police cars, just following you, and they're like, "Can you please pull over?" And you're like, "What?" It's a couple of years ago. There was a few of us who used to have like a biker gang in it, but we used to actually like you know stop at red lights and shit, like full on role play that game. <laughs> it's really the sad. In the speed limit, I'm a biker. I'm being good. <laughs> following the traffic laws. And- <laughs> Stopping at the red lights, like paying like, your hose with good money. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, like I, I suppose, like we we better move on to the, like the final one, which is a, a, a game that like you does you feel deserves a remake. Now, in the in the previous episode, I had chosen Goldeneye, 
because I, I thought that game, if it's remade, will be fantastic in terms of keeping the local multiplayer because that was so much fun. I mean, what did you go for for the remake? What was it? Do you remember? Oh, crap. <laughs> was it 99 Nights? That's it, 99 Nights. Was, or, yeah. I don't know whether that was the hidden gem or the remake. It was one of them. But 99 Nights was my, was my one that I was like, I would love a remake of this game. It was just such an underrated game and it was so fun to play. I just love it. It's, it's there. <laughs> But like the, the games that are here are like the games that I loved and played all the time. And I've uh, never seen this before. It, it literally came out for 360, and that was it. And it's like it's like a hack and slash game, but like you you have big battle scenes and like there's actual stories based in it. Okay. And it's actually quite good. Fair. But like that's only a quarter, like a tiny bit of like I had over 250 Xbox 360 games at one stage. Fair enough. And like that's only a handful. Well, <laughs> oh, we digress. Like Jamie, what what would be the game that you would love to see get a remake? So, I had two that I was not able to distinguish between coming okay. into this, and now after talking about the hack and slash with the big battle scenes, I have more. Uh, <laughs> So the first one I was thinking was, I, I think I said it to you the last day, was Gex. Mm. Um, specifically Gex 3D. Yes. Um, because all of those platformers from that era have gotten remakes recently. You've, we've seen Crash Bandicoot, we've seen Spyro. And, you know, they've, they've done well. But Gex was just on its own level for, like, self-aware pop culture references. And, like, yeah. Like Gex Gecko, like was just like at one point, I think he was like the the mascot for Crystal Dynamics, wasn't he? I believe so. Like this was before, like like the first release was back in ninety five. Two years after I was born. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like what Gex Gecko? Seven deep years cover gecko. after him. Deep cover Gecko. Oh, oh geez, yeah, I remember this one. They were trippy as hell as well in some levels. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even the case, oh, I love that the game. Or like read it kind of trippy colors. Yeah. Like to explain for any viewers who don't understand, uh, 90s platformer, wise cracking protagonist. Uh, every level had a theme. So the whole thing is set in the media dimension. Um, his opponent is Rez, and you have to collect remote controls. But every level is like, a different theme so like the first one in that game was a snow level set at christmas time mm. where the enemies were elves and there was a boss in it that was an evil santa claus and then the second level was a murder mystery house with like oldie time guys with guns and bears walking around and it, it kept going there was an egyptian level there was a fairy tale level there was an anime level there was nice. greek mythology but all of it just worked be um, wonderful to see in 4K. Imagine. Watch me in 4K. They're on 5K <laughs> now. <laughs> That's too many Ks. Yeah, yeah. That, that game would probably explode. <laughs> like, it's like, boom, gone. I had like 10. Um, <laughs> the second game that I'd like to see remastered was The Simpsons Hit and Run. Yes. Yes. Oh, there you go. Fucking yes. I would. That game, I put so many hours into that game. I yeah. had so much fun with that game. Even Road Rage I had fun with. <laughs> but Hit and Run was just brilliant. Yeah. So, like, possibly the best GTA clone ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, but um, hands down. Hands down. <laughs> I mean, it was a masterpiece. Remaster it. There was talks in remastering. I don't know what happened with that. Simpsons waned in popularity. That's what. No, it, they, no it, there was... It was something... It would, they were literally like, we're going to remake this game. And then it just fell apart. And I don't know if it's still in the making to be remade or not yet. Was it not a thing that fans had rebuilt it in the yeah. Unreal so, Engine 4? Four, yeah. Had released the first level and then they got shut down because there was talks of doing it officially and then yeah. it never happened anyway. That, see, that, that just, like, 
these fans are going out of their way for a game they love, absolutely love, and remaking it for people to play. And then, like, these companies are coming in and going, nah, we might do it. We're, we're going to do it. But then they never follow through. And they just, like, we're just going to put it on the shelf and leave it there. Mm. We may come back for one day, or we just never will bother. Like, Seems it's the exact same as, um, like, I, we, I was only saying tonight, like, uh, and I showed them this, was Oblivion with Skyrim's graphics. Yes. Called Sky yes. Oblivion, that fans made. And it was... Yeah. Fucking immaculate, immaculate, and then I've shown Niall versions of Skyrim with the brand new uh, Unreal Engine, and it's just oh, bliss! Like, how well the moss is on what like Simpsons hit and run in that kind of Unreal Engine would be gas crack. I yeah. would literally be a bitch, like, if almost what's the other like Simpsons backyard wrestling and all them, like, and like oh, the skateboard, so one, like, skateboard, they were so bad, but they were just so, so funny to play. No, nah, but like even Sco- even Spyro skateboarding <laughs> and all, like they were just so fun just to toss on. But hit and run was like the top top oh, the yeah. game, what game? Especially in terms of like the Simpsons releases for video games. Oh God, yeah. Like, Jesus, yeah. Like even like the Simpsons game, like the the movie or whatever it was, like that wasn't oh, yeah. nearly as good as like. That's the- getting a remake, apparently. Don't know why. It doesn't deserve it. No, it doesn't. It was shocking. That's not cool. No, I mean, like, like, obviously, getting the you getting the nostalgia because like of so many characters that you grew up with and being familiar with. So like when when you got a chance to actually like, what you got to drive the cars as well, and <laughs> yep, you had to drive the cars like like ah, uh, just the thought of them cars and all and hitting people is just ah, oh, it's just so funny. It's so cameras. Fun. Like I think one of, one of the things was like hitting like the mascot from the the group ball mascot, and every time you hit him, he made like he made that honk noise, and he just went flying through the air, and all. It's like, ah, oh, classic. What a classic remake that. Yeah, remake it. <laughs> For anyone that's watching, remake it. Don't know who you are, but remake. Fuck the box. Remake the game. <laughs> Which is mad because like they're owned by Disney now. Yeah. Like it, it's madness. Well no, they probably will and Disney will be like, they, it's not, they might find it on the shelf and be like, let's remake it. <laughs> this will be our next project. And then they probably do a very Kingdom of Hearts like fucking style or something. And I'm like, oh god. <laughs> mm, I didn't like Kingdom Hearts. No, oh. no like even looking at pictures like that we have on the other screen of like the graphics, they're so good. They're not clunky. They're not square. They're like they're just good. They're they're PS2 yeah. graphics, but like still. But the beauty of it is, for the Simpsons Hit and Run, you only ever need to make it look as good as the cartoon. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what so, it reminds me of? Destroy all humans. That's fair. That's that kind of fair. style of cartoon where you're like, this is funny because you're literally just having a crack with it. You're just out there just literally messing about like driving and killing people. <laughs> like, just looking at like Homer and his moo moo. Oh Alberto and all <laughs> like, you know, oh, the rocket so car and all. Oh the rocket car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh that was great. Like driving around that rocket car you like you couldn't control it. Oh, no, not at all. It's like, <laughs> but you needed it for some of those jumping you had to drive through like the windows with yeah. itchy and, and scratchy on it. yeah that, it. that's yes and then there's the like the one jump to get over and it's like a gap you have to literally go <laughs> classic and then the car that Homer built designed in one of the episodes and all was in it uh, the super car it's, yeah super <laughs> car yeah. <laughs> I'm ruined <laughs> A poo is mad, like like Phoenix car, like you know. Oh, what a game! Yeah, yeah. No. And that was an open world as well, yeah. which is even weirder. Yeah, yeah. One of the first, really. Yeah, what about? Yeah, what about it, actually? Again, like it was, as you said, it's a GTA clone. So, and for the game that hit platinum, the on PlayStation, like where he is, there was no way that was not gonna be an open world type game. Oh, definitely not. Uh, like that's part of what made it so appealing and so fun for people. Well, which one? Seems to hit and run mod jam 2021. What? Yeah, yeah, people mod 
Mother. I will find this and play it. <laughs> I might not stream it because I'll probably get shut down for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, like there are people out there that are modern, modern the original tech and updating it towards PC. So they deserve a medal. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Here, here. Or to be left alone at the very Yeah, just least. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just to do it. As long as they don't start trying to make money off it, they should be all right. Yeah. And we, we'll actually be... Just put it out there for free. Just be like, yeah. there you go. There's a game for you. Enjoy. Well, yeah. Hello. So, that... And, oh, and I have one last... Oh, okay, go on. ...game for the remake, because this was when you were mentioning the hack and slash with massive, massive battle scenes. Mm. And I was going to say potentially the original, or at least the PS2 version of the Lord of the Rings games, but the PS3 Lord of the Rings Conquest. Oh, I already have, I got, I got, I have that on PC again. And I have it there on disc. I love that game. I only Phenomenal. streamed that recently. I streamed that entire go campaign from start to finish on my Twitch channel. And I love Conquest. It was so good. Yeah. A scout, an elf, a warrior. And the fact that they were specifically designed... No, that's like literally... Sure. <laughs> yep. What a game. Classic. The reason I love this game so much is because you... Basically, you play as like an elf and all, but you get to play as the hero as well as you get to a certain spot in the... Like, it's like uh, you're going to fight a boss. Do you want to swap to a hero? Or do you want to keep going as your guy that you're playing as? Mm. And like the like the archer is always an elf, the mage is always just a mage, and it, but the warrior is always a Rohirrim, and I never yeah. understood that. Like like you're like fighting in Gondor, it's like oh here you go, you're Rohirrim. <laughs> grand, big grand, don't think better. But <laughs> what it, it, it gave you the chance to play as so many characters from the books and films. As goal and stuff. And it's the only game I've ever seen where you can stomp around the Shire as Sauron. Yes. Burning it down and killing hobbits. Yes. Which is what's not to love. Because the game I picked was that I would I said like I would love, love, love a remake of was uh Battle of Middler 2. Mm. I, Very that, fair. That's like my all-time favorite game to play. Uh like I have like my top like, like three games are Elder Scrolls Online, Lord of the Rings, and Metal Gear Solid. They're my three favorite. And I like Lord of the Rings though, just oh. Sorry, just a remaster of like Metal Gear Solid. PS1? The Shadow Moses yeah. Yeah. episode. There, I have that still in its original box there. Twin Snakes was a thing, but that was terrible. Twin Snakes so. was, our, was good. Uh, it's, there was something. No, it's not. There, it's there. Oh, You're there. blind. <laughs> you forget, I'm wearing glasses. And he's still blind. <laughs> It's hey, okay in, in, in his career, it works for him. Yeah. Yes. What, what a, a game. classic. What a classic. I don't think they'd ever remake that though. No. Because they're not remaking number two. Twin Snakes. They're currently remaking number two. Kojima won't fucking do it. I mean, most people want it, but you won't do it. I give number two. It's Jews. It was good. It's a bit of crack. Yeah, like riding, running around naked, and all like we're just. It just got so out of hand. Like I really like the story, and like. I was fucking. I was ten playing it, and Who's still they were talking about. Character from number one, other than Snake. <laughs> uh, Gray Fox, maybe no. Liquid. No. Liquid, no. Liquid would pro- would be my all time favorite character, just for how <laughs> badass he was. Yeah. Or Revolver Oslo. Revolver was cool. Especially when he, when he, like, he just gets his arm cut off and he's just like, ah, ah. He's like, oh, shut up, please. <laughs> or Psycho Mantis. Oh, hey. Psycho yeah. Mantis was so cool. Fucking hey. Loved I, him. Raven was always a fun one to fight against when he, with his mini gun and all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hated the tank yeah, against him, but I loved the second one with containers. The, I, uh, the good thing I loved about number two was you actually seen, like, it was like a little figure of him. And there was a cast of a shadow. Yes. You fucking shit yourself. On the going, tanker. No. I remember this. You're like, no, it can't be. I'm not fighting him again. Like, when you see a huge, like, he's massive with this big mini gun. And you're like, no, no, it can't be. It can't be. And you turn the corner and see this, like, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> like I'll take anyone else on. Send me your, uh, anyone, and I'll take them on. My, I remember my issue with two though was that it gives you the tanker episode, and oh, it's like, oh, cool, here God. we go, brilliant, solid snake PS2 graphics. This is going to be awesome, and that lasts maybe forty minutes, Not and even. then it's just Raiden. I like Raiden. He's he's cool. Oh, I fucking hated Raiden. I liked so, Raiden. I thought it, he was good. It took a while to redeem him. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, I and, know. Like, Mega Solid redeemed himself in number three, then after. Oh, God, yeah. Because I game. hated the way it went in the end with the, the Patriots, and it's all an AI simulation, and it all got out of hand. And the president is actually the third brother, Solidus. Solidus. Yes. That was a stupid name. He should have been Gas. <laughs> Fucking but. Solidus, Nate. Oh. Yeah, big boss though. What a character. tree was excellent. What a character. big boss, yes. What a character. Yeah. And I love number three for like a young revolver ocelot. Yes, how cocky. Yeah. And he's like, not only that, he's on mad. And then it's like, you just remind me of like a meme where you see someone with a sword go, Whoa! and then it's like, bang. <laughs> yeah. What I loved about that though was in because he did the gun spinning in Metal Gear Solid. When he's taunting you about the diaper chief and Baker being tied up. And then in the third one, he does similar, but he drops the fucking bullet, yeah. which is just wonderful. Mm. It's, yeah. it's really cool how in number three, though, you, you see how he gets through, like how he goes through mm-hmm. revolvers because he starts off with a pistol and yeah. uh, like it jams and all. And he's just like, and then he becomes revolver also like, with like, when you're fighting, yeah. but that's Pain, true. Is there Fury, someone who, whichever one has the hornets. But it's true suggestion from Snake himself. Yeah, it's like you should use a revolver. He's like Snake, mm. you should shut the fuck up. You're creating your own enemies here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like but the fact that as well. That's where he got the loyalty for naked Snake, Big Boss. Yeah. Mm. And that just plays out over the next four games. Four was a wonderful game yes. slash interactive movie. Mm. I would the one the one thing that I will say about four. And I hate, I can't say I hated it, but it definitely made me a more uh, committed smoker. <laughs> because you've never seen anyone look like they enjoy a cigarette more than Old Snake on those yeah. fucking loading screens. <laughs> <laughs> or did like the missions we had to use a smoke to see like a fucking wire or something? You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, bollocks. Mm. The amount of times I died in that first game was ridiculous. Like, uh, I lost the plot. Even, even with, like, okay, like, with number two, Sons of the Patriots, like, the it, the fact that, like, the opening cutscene of just, like, Snake on the bridge, like, just walking in the rain, like, really showcasing, like, the graphics, like, the graphical leap that they made. To is be just... fair, the, that's... That intro with Snake on the Bridge, they used that to promote the PlayStation 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like to the point where it wasn't even just for that game. They used it to show how good the hardware could be. Yeah. Like that's how good it was. Which but it's also yeah. a testament to like Kojima as well. The fact that like how far he wanted to push that that technology and utilize it to the max. Yeah. Like that crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Yes. As you were saying, you would love to see Conquest remade. Yes. Would you like them to? Would you like them to do something different to it? Would you like to see some something else added to it, a concept or anything? I mean, what even is the, like? They have the good, the bad. The only thing you can really add to it is another era and throw in like the Hobbit. <laughs> but and I don't see that working out great because that should have been left as a book. I would. But, the only concept I'd have to do with that game to change it would be make it a little bit more open, a little bit more free. Like where you're not restricted to going, here's your mission, you do this bit, this bit, and this, and that's done. Oh, like Ministerial oh. bastard. Like where you have, like, you're in a courtyard, then you go up onto a wall, then you go up onto the level, and then it just ends, and you're like, you don't want it to be linear. You like, want yeah, it you to want it to be like more free where you okay. go, like, you start in the courtyard or something. And you're like, you're fighting all the trolls and orcs that come through the gate. And then you're like, then you hear Gandalf saying, re- like, retreat to the like upper levels. They done that backwards where it went from the courtyard to the wall, where it should have been the wall to the courtyard up. Yeah. yeah like a bit more fair. free where it's like, you can just go and just do yourself and not go, 
I have to wait now for Gandalf to say that fucking thing so I can move. <laughs> yeah. That, that's very fair. To be fair, I, I could nearly see it working as if they went vaguely open world with it, had the missions play out, and then once you're in the mission, you can pick your heroes. Ooh, but actually, do the open world as the general. That's very uh, good. Return to King, where you got to pick between like Aragon, Legless, Gimli, like, like yeah, which which was another wonderful game. It, uh, so, yeah, one I would love them to remake. I would never ever want them to remake Fellowship of the Ring. That was shocking. No, yeah, that was that awesome. number two. Definitely need deserve the, two and three the, deserve a remake. The Game Boy Advance game for Fellowship was fucking excellent. Because it's like proper top-down RPG. But I remember I played number two. I played the two towers for I played hundreds of hours on the Game Boy with that. But I never mm-hmm. played number one. Yeah, it was it was different. It was obviously much lighter on the whole combat thing because the stakes <laughs> ain't there. But it was it was good. It 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 didn't seem to be following the films, weirdly enough, because Tom yeah, Bombadil did, did is in it, which Oh yeah, so Tom, like that's book. That's not yeah, me. like full on book. But it that's worked. Like, that's not movie because he's not even fucking mentioned in the movies. Yeah, but that's because he's basically God. Which... Yeah, literally, he's literally a, mi- uh, a minor or uh, a minor. Oh, Come on, you're on the spot. You can do it. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. This is as bad as with Jerry. Like when you put me on the spot <laughs> with a question, and the one that caught me off was Sam's fucking daughter's name. Of all the things that caught me out in that, oh, it's my my because I I know it's like ah fuck, it'll come back to me. Yeah, yeah. It'll come back to me. I'm trying to think of it like the the ascending order of like how it goes and so, oh, that's a pain. Mm-hmm. No, but look, I, I, obviously, like we could talk on and on about like how many games and. That we'd love the remake and go into it, the intricacies of it. But obviously, like, we're, we're running short in time. So, again, Jamie, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. That it's been a lot of fun. It was again. therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> therapeutic until he gets off. I'd be like, I'm going to go play that game again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to dig out Conquest now. But... Do it. I. I... I've done it. I I put it onto my PC just so I could play it again. Hmm. Okay. I think my night might be sorted here. Like, I installed War in the North, Conquest, and the, the, I try, I'm try. i currently Captain trying to get Lord. the Third Age oh. game. Okay. And I love that game. All, all them on my PC. I have Battle of Middle Earth 1, 2, and The Rise of the Wish King, and the Age of the Ring mod. Like, I love them. But if you get them, get them. Because you'll just sit there and play them. Yeah. No, but I actually will. Like that's who needs work when you've got longer rings. <laughs> <laughs> be fine. But again, yeah. it, anyone that's watched it, if you agree with us, please let us know. If you don't agree with us, please let us know. <laughs> because like we'd like to hear your opinions on it as well. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, please send us a message. We'd love to have you on. Um, do you have anything else? Like, uh, if you have game requests that you'd like us to talk about, definitely comment on them, put them in, and we'll if it's a game we don't know, we'll we'll look up stuff and try to figure it out, or we might play it. Like, and we'll see if we can, see if we actually. can, yeah, and well, see what it's like. As long as it's not Call of Duty, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe, it really does help the channel. You channels. can also, yeah, sorry, channels, sorry, channels. Uh, I have to repeat myself for that one because this is not only appearing on the Nerds of Us channel, but it is also appearing on the Foxy Bros Gaming channel on YouTube. So you can catch sorry, us both there. Our, uh, Foxy Bros stuff, sorry. No, sorry, it was a bit impromptu. So uh, it was literally just... brave, just thrown on us. This was, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you all for. For fo- for following, sorry, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> God damn it, it's getting late. <laughs> now. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the next one. Peace out.